presented by Clemson Libraries. You found some information. It might be online or in print. Can you trust it? If you're considering using it in an assignment or even just retweeting it, take a moment to evaluate it. Since we're tigers, use your paws. Point of view and purpose. Is there any slant or bias for or against a particular point of view? Sometimes sources like newspapers or books can seem to be neutral, but only use facts or quotes that highlight one side of the story. Is it trying to explain something with words like discussion, exposition, details, history, background? Convince you of something with talk of evidence, demonstrate, compel, prove, or show? Age. When was it published? Is the information likely to have changed since then? The Clemson vs. NC State football program from 2012 looks way different from the one for the same matchup back in the 40s. Its slick design and action shots are a long way from what looks like a Norman Rockwell painting of a guy and some kids. Some topics don't change much year to year, or even decade to decade, like geology, ancient Egyptian history, or the pH scale, while others can change dramatically in just a few years, like cell phone technology and prescription medicines, or in minutes, like the stock market. It can take months or years to publish books and scholarly articles, so if you need info about a cutting-edge technology or a recent soccer match, those probably aren't the first place you should look. However, old doesn't always mean bad. For example, something written in the 1950s can give you a great perspective on what things were like back then. Dear Martha, I watched one of those new color televisions today. Writer. Who wrote this? How do they know what they say they know? What are their credentials? Do they have a degree in the field? Any honors? Are they affiliated with or representing any schools or institutions? Have they written other things on related topics? Where did the writer get this knowledge shared? Are any citations or references provided? If it was an experiment, do they tell you the methods and materials so others can try it? For example, if Chemistry Cat combined a germ and a football to get some super tough super bug, the publication should explain the procedure in enough detail so that it could be replicated. Source. Where did you find this information? A website? Book? Library database? A Facebook post from your friend who reposted it from some shady unknown character? If a publisher was involved, do they review the content before it's printed and gets to you? What other types of things do they publish? Books about unicorns, magic tricks, or adorable cat photos? There is a lot of information out there, and almost anyone can publish more. Talking to you, toddler with an iPad. So be sure to use your paws to help you evaluate it.